guys welcome back to my channel it's Shelby um today as you saw by the title I am talking about my top 10 candles from Bath and Body Works um these are all my personal opinions you might have different opinions let me know your top 10 candles down below in the comments um or your top three or whatever um these are not gonna be any in any specific order um, I'm just going to grab one and talk about it a little bit. Um, yeah, let's get started. So um, the first two I'm actually going to talk about um, are two that I've already burnt. Um, and I need to uh, recycle these containers. Um, so the first one is Fresh Spring Morning. This is a Spring Morning Dew Aloe Blossom Creamy Orange Flower with Natural Essential Oils. I love this one. It is so so creamy and subtle that like for a subtle candle it had a really good throw um which is awesome because it's hard to find like the softer tone candles with good throw um next i have sparkling pear riesling this is fresh pear slices juicy white grapes sweet riesling with essential oils um this i believe i purchased last year um candle day maybe um bath and body works does pair so well i don't know what it is but they do pair phenomenally um and you do for sure get the grape note um and a little bit of like the sparkling note for the race thing um but i really really like this one i'm gonna say that about every single one <laughs> i really like all of these um, next I have black teakwood. I have not, I've, all of these I have burnt one of, but I don't, and then I've bought backups. Does that make sense? Um, so like I've, I've burnt many black teakwoods. This is rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, frosted lavender with essential oils. So a lot of people either love or hate mahogany teakwood but I've noticed so I love mahogany teakwood but I've noticed people that aren't huge fans of mahogany teakwood do like this black teakwood because it's a little more subtle and it's got a little more of like the oakiness to it and it does have like the calming of the lavender and so I would say if you are one that wants to try out mahogany teakwood, um, but don't want something so overpowering, try out black teakwood um, because this is not gonna overpower. Um, it is a strong fragrance, but it's not gonna overpower. Next, I have raspberry tangerine. This is wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, lemon zest with essential oils. Look at this jar. It's so pretty. There's a mark on that. But it's so pretty, like these, the three layers. Um, this one I purchased, I think this year's SAS. I think, I'm not 100% sure. But it's so good. The, I prefer this burning. Um, I'd rather this be burning than on cold. On cold, you don't really get much fragrance from it but when it's burning throw is phenomenal it can fill up a whole room um very easily and for sure um you get a lot of the like top raspberry and bottom tangerine note if that makes sense um yeah highly recommend next i'll go through some of my one wicks um this is an aromatherapy candle, orange and ginger. Um, I'm assuming the notes are orange and ginger. <sighs> that ginger, it gets you. Yeah, I love this because it's got, this throws phenomenal. A lot of the aromatherapies don't really throw that well. Um, they're more of like subtle smells. This one throws amazing. Um, I think it's probably the ginger, um, but also like the fresh orange citrusy note. Really, really good. Probably my favorite of the aromatherapies. Next, I have eucalyptus rain. Um, the notes on this, I, I don't remember fully, 
um, but they, they're not on the bottom of here. But it is my favorite spring scent to burn. I love having this going. Um, like if it's raining outside, I love having the windows cracked and this burning and reading a good book. It is very vibey, um, but it's one of my favorite. Just like I get one of these. Um, normally I get the big three wicks, um, but I really liked this little jar. Um, I normally have like at least two three wicks on hand. I believe I might have a three wick over there. Um, but I always have one of these on hand. Um, it's very much a comfort scent for me. Next, I have You Are The One. Again, no notes on here. Um, but I believe there's... I believe there's a rose in here. It's like a perfumey rose, you know? Um, You're The One. Such a good candle. It's so strong and... It, for me, I feel like it's very unique fragrance. Um, I love this in every everything. Um, the fine fragrance mist, perfume, body lotion, shower gel. I've had it all. I love this. Um, it's it's like a... It reminds me on like what my grandma would have smelled like on like Christmas or like Thanksgiving. Like big holidays where she you know, was a little dressed up, um, and stuff like that. I feel like this is what she smelled like. Yeah. Um, so I really like that one. And then, um, we're gonna do champagne, apple, and honey. The notes are fresh pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey with essential oils. This packaging is from last fall. Mm. I just got another one of these candles um, from this year. Um, I should have grabbed it. It's got like red packaging and then it's got like a little apple on it. It's really cute. Um, but I just love, cause it's, so many people are obsessed with champagne toast and I cannot do champagne toast. Ever since I had COVID, champagne toast just like, it smells burnt to me. Like body care, all of it, just burnt not really for me but the champagne apple and honey kind of has like that champagne toast um because of the champagne but it's such a like a sweeter fragrance because of that um so I really really like this one in the fall then I have another fall favorite um this is apple weather and it actually has the notes I believe down here Fresh farm stand apples, lavender leaves, cinnamon bark. And this is a very much like green apple. Like if you go to the apple orchard and you pick up a green, like you pick a green apple off the tree and bite into it, this is what you smell. It smells so good. Um, yeah, it's just green apple all the way. Um, this is... Um, a few videos a while ago, probably a year ago now, um, I did a uh, Harry Potter candle fragrance video, I guess. Um, I think I have three up on my channel, maybe four at this point. Um, but this is Draco. A lot of people said that he was like apple mahogany or apple teakwood or something like that, but he's apple leather because it's just straight up green apple. It's phenomenal. I love this candle. Um, I had multiple of these last year and I burnt all of them except for this one because I was afraid that they wouldn't come out with it again. And so far I haven't seen it for the fall yet. So hopefully they come out with it. Hopefully they come out with a three wig because I don't think they had a three wig last year. And then the last is blackberries and basil. I don't know what it is about this candle that I just love. It's fresh blackberries, sparkling champagne, basil with essential oils. I think it's probably like that, the little bit of the bubbly note, but you very much get like top note blackberries. Next is like the basil. And again, this is a candle that smells so much better while it's burning. So um, they also released this in a fall packaging. Um, I believe I got this last spring. Um, 
yeah, those are my top 10 candles. Um, and hopefully you can get all of these in store um, right now. I know there's a few that I don't think you can quite get right now um, because they might have like Apple Weather. I don't think they've come out with yet, but they might soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, these are my top 10 candles from Bath and Body Works and I will see you guys soon. Peace.